Greetings from ERP Launchpad and this is a short introduction video on what our product is exactly built inside Google Sheets and some introduction about our company. So are you a person who has uh, tried implementing an ERP software in your business or is looking to implement some kind of software in your business but has failed the implementation and you are now back to Excel Sheets or now currently working into Excel Sheets? But you have a need that it should be some kind of automated because currently it is manual. So we have a very good solution built inside Google Sheets where we have solved all the pain points of Excel Sheets but kept the user friendliness as same as it is. Like we have done access protections for our Google Sheets. We have linked it to a centralized portal. We have an organized way to enter the data and we have given dynamic reports with our ERP. So we would be like we are working two plus years inside customized software development field inside Google Sheets. We will help pan India businesses. It's a uh, let it be manufacturer, distributors, retailers, any kind of business. We have worked with them. We have understood all the pain points and we have created a generic Google Sheets ERP, which would be definitely helpful for you. It would be properly organized. It is access protected and it is at a one time cost. So we have two methods for access protection. I'm starting with the most important aspect that is the security of this uh, ERP. So there are two types of access protections which we can do. One is we can define all our employee names and their username passwords. We would have all our modules and we just tick off whatever modules we want to give them access to. Let Let's say this user, we want to give him full access to all the CRM form, the admin sheet. There is a module called notice board, graphical reports, tabular reports. So what we would be having is a login portal, something like this. We just enter the username password, which we have defined in the backend when we log in. So we have a complete a portal view like this and here are all our modules linked over here. Whatever modules you need, we can give you those modules as well. And when we click on the CRM module, so we have uh, an interface, something like this. So there is the form embedded inside this. You can uh, enter the leads. You can update their stages. You have a sheet like this in this interface. You can see all the data. You can filter all the leads. You can update them with this URL. And we have uh, other features like this is a notice board for information for your employees. We have graphical reports which would be embedded over here. This is the tabular report. So this is how one media one method is this for the access protection. But one issue in this is like the, there is a limitation of view of your Google Sheet. So this is the limitation like there is limited space to access your form sheets or access the report. Another method is which is email ID based. This this method was using ID passwords which were defined in the backend like this and we would be giving them access. Another method is this. In this there is no limitation for the access of the sheet like the resolution because this is the portal which you would be getting completely of your own branding. There would be departments created for each module. Let's say we go into the sales department. So we have a uh, separate form sheets, uh, etc. for all the modules we have. We can store all our important links which we want over here. We can uh, store our credentials documents inside this portal and we can open whatever sheet we need directly from here and we would be opening it in a full view. This method is authentic authenticated via email ID. A Google email account is needed for it. Each employee you want to give protected access to you can give him via an email ID. And this is the full complete sheet view which you get. You can access uh, different sheets and have the view. So what we have built is this was the access protection part. Second thing, where is all the data stored? What we do is we create a Google Drive account. We host all the form sheets, the portals on that account and we completely transfer the ownership of all the data and the ID password to the client. So as it is Google account it is highly secured world-class security of Google you can change the password you can have authentications like uh, OTP based authentication there is suspicious login alerts given by Google themselves so these were the two important aspects which are data security and access protection of your employees so in this method as well each employee can have their own button with where uh, they can have their own sheet and that is only access to that particular employee and there would be an admin sheet which would be able to view everything. So any medium you choose you would be having proper login uh, authentication for your employees. The data is extremely secure. So now we will start with our modules. Uh, 
show you some of the pain points which you might have in your business. So let's say uh, we had shown the CRM currently. This is an order collection. So whenever you get an order, sales order, you just enter it. You have a client master in the back. You upload the work order. You enter all the products for which you have got the order and you get an order master created. So this is our medium. We can enter data in our sheets. One is via Google Forms, which we saw currently in the CRM. All the data in this sheet is highly protected. Nobody can uh, delete this data. Even if I press on backspace, what it would do is it will at again automatically fetch the data so nobody can uh, delete the data accidentally which was an issue in excel sheets because we are taking entries in an organized way we create two types of forms one is this type of interfaces directly created inside google sheets where we give you a logical set of reports as well each entry creates a master data like this is erp order 9 we can define stages to our order we can periodically update stages Let's say your order is completed, it is pending, it is in transit or you want to track it, whether it's manufacturing that it is in planning, the order is in production, which is in quality. So each department themselves can update the stage of any order. You can set payment stages for each order. You want to search any specific payment stage. You come over here, you search the client and you get the payment stage of that order. You get the order PDF copy anytime you want to download. What was the order? You want to see each order what department is updating in each, each stage you what you can do is you can search again the client name order number you have stage one it was going on planning on this date production it went on this date this, this was the remark so respective departments can update our sheet admin has a complete dynamic overview of all the data each department get the gets their own google sheet to update so this was an example of uh, the order management module. Let's say you want to manage accounting, you can cal uh, take payments against any specific uh, orders as well. So this is an order master. You want to take payment against this ERP order 9, you just open it, simple Google form opens. In this Google form, you enter the uh, like GST details, you want to enter the TDS deductions. So everything can be easily managed. This is a simple form. In this, what we do is we enter the sales category, uh, we enter the sales amount, GST amount, sales description. So what it does in the back end is this, a pretty secured proper data, but date wise all sales amount, description, GST amounts, and against what orders it was captured. Anytime your CA asks for any report, you just filter it via month, download it as a PDF and give it to him. We give you detailed reports like you need net profit for each order. So over here we can see for each order how much Purchase orders did you raise? How much expenses did you do? What is the net profit of each order? What is your profit percentage for an, any order? We can create invoices, pro forma invoices, tax invoices from this. And everything is stored in the sheet itself. So let me show you one thing which is, let's say, purchase orders. So I'll go into the procurement module for the manufacturing industry. Over here, everything is interlinked. So let's say we capture an order against that order. We can create bill of material that be, according to the bill of material, we can raise purchase requisitions, which our system automatically tells us that for this order, according to BOM, we need to order this amount of raw materials. And currently we have this amount of in stock. So system tells us that we need to order this much. If the BOM quantity is exceeded while raising purchase requisition, the purchase team is uh, immediately uh, notified that the BOM quantity is being exceeded in this purchase requisition. So you can, you know, be inside your budget while delivering uh, solutions uh, like uh, your services to your clients. You have a master data created, PR number, date wise, client wise, their PDF URL stored right inside the sheet. So over here, you can anytime find any purchase orders or purchase requisitions from the sheet itself. You can filter any data you want. Automated emails are sent directly from the system. So we eliminate your uh, three things. One is going to uh, download the PDF and storing it in a folder. We are storing it right itself. Attaching it to an email, we are directly sending emails from the sheet itself. And the latest entries are stored in the top. So the limitation of excel sheet you always need to go down and enter the new data and that also can be deleted anytime so latest data is in the top nobody can select and delete backspace any data you nobody can delete it you have backend settings to uh, set all your employee names uh, by the way all our modules are for unlimited users you yourself can add any number of users from the backend 
you can set purchase requisitions or any module to whom it should go inside CC. So likewise, we have done a lot of automations. Let's say we want to manage our payroll. So we have an attendance system where we automatically capture the selfies, their location and whatever month we want to generate the pay slips, we just select the month. Their attendance is auto fetched over here. So we just set their per day rate and automatically their attendance is fetching. We can manually adjust plus or minus days and we calculate all their salaries. Let's say we want to send their pay slips, just tick the employees, click on send pay slip. One by one, it will automatically shoot the salary slips to the employees and it would be storing it in a database date wise what all salary slips you have sent to your employees you can download any salary slips let's say any employee wants last three months salary slip you can just filter it out and you have all the pdf stored inside this itself you have a report what is the company paying net salary each month and the graphical representation so you have department wise what number of employees are active inactive so likewise we have completely automated in each module be it HR operations we have a task management module to delegate tasks to your teammates so let's say you want to delegate a task to your teammate what do you do is you have two ways to delegate you can delegate tasks in bulk you can delegate it via a simple google form as well so this portal becomes like an app on your mobile phone as well so even if you want to fill a google form for expenses to delegate a task you can quickly do it via your mobile phone as well so what this task module does is we have generated detailed efficiency report of each employee. So it improves productivity in your business that whatever work the employee is doing, it is monitored, it is rewarded. You have an efficiency score out of 100 for each employee. And the parameters to calculate this is when we are delegating a task to this employee, we are selecting a target date. So whenever an employee finishes the task he just selects that he has completed the task with this url this is the task bucket list which each employee gets and they can work on their task and they have the function to uh, update the task they just select task updation url and via this simple form they just complete the task we capture the date when they are completing and the target date and we also give them a facility to revise the target date and they provide remarks so this is completely integrated with email notifications as well. So anytime a task is delegated, the employee gets an alert. When they complete a task, the a manager gets an alert. The manager can also rate each task. So along with the uh, target date which we are setting, that gives a report that whether the task was done on time or late. Same way we can rate a task out of one out of one to 10. The employee can also rate himself from one to 10. Considering all these parameters, we create a detailed efficiency report. We can always see what all tasks are going in progress and from how many days they are going in. So like the target date has passed from 19 days for this task. This is all these tasks, the target date has been passed. So we can see what all employees are uh, is uh, busy in what all tasks. So th this is one module for operations which we can provide you. We can provide you a detailed financial analysis report like any kind of graphical analysis which you want. So let's say we want to uh, see our uh, detail like this is a CRM report L employee wise who is bringing what number of leads for which product we are getting inquiries what are the lead sources we are getting same way for sales report or this is for manufacturing total production done daily production report maintenances we have a detailed financial dashboard we just select the year and we get total sales revenue amount total GST paid. What is our average net profit month on month? What is our financial growth? What is the net profit and what is our net profit behind each order as well? So we get that report as well. What is our net profit? Uh, we get payment reminders. So uh, there is a sheet which automatically calculates the payment reminders. When you make the sales entry automatically, the payment reminder removes that particular entry. We can directly send email reminders for the client to uh, remind them for the payment. We can see total due payments uh, pending. Same way for purchase orders, we can see the open PO materials. If we have raised the PO, but the material is still not received yet, we can see what amount of material is still left for the vendor to deliver to us. Same way we can also have a report what amount is pending to pay for the uh, vendor. So let's see in the inventory module, we have uh, a format to just make the in and out entries again this is linked against an order so whenever we show you an inventory we can show you against a specific bill of material or specific order as well if you are taking inventories for order so this is the 
uh, format it will load now which will show that uh, client wise order number wise we are showing 